Hi, Assalamualaikum to our lecturer BMMM 2313 uh, Mr. Muhammad Afdal bin Sabzuddin that uh, conduct dynamics and mechanics of machine subject for our SEM for this SEM and uh, I'm Muhammad Hazim bin Barudin want to present the ping pong launcher challenge that we conduct in our, our assignment uh, so let's we go to our introduction let's go Hi, my name is Dika Ubongaang. The subject of my presentation is introduction about projectile motions. In the first part, projectile motions refer to the motions of an object projected into the air of an object. Then, the motions that vertically is force of gravity. The motion also moving horizontally, but the motion is uniform. Now, let's move to the main objective of this project, motion assessment. Are to understand the impact engineering technology solution in society and environment context and demonstrate knowledge are need for sustainable development. At the same time, this assessment encourages the student to work in group to study projectile concept and transform into real mechanism. Students are supposed to be able to develop and construct the real launcher based on projectile concept. That's all for me. Thank you. So back to me, I want to present about mechanism and relation with the enemy subject. Here we go. So first of all, I want to uh, present that this is our model in pop bell launcher. Uh, you can see this, uh, our sum of uh, pictures that how we uh, try to launch the ping pong ball as well. So we go to the mechanism. The mechanism that used is in this projectile motion experiment, which is a major using by rubber, which is the balloon, uh, with the polystyrene cup as a ball holder, uh, that located the initial position of the ball, and we also choose rubber because the characteristic, which is the elasticity, that can generate force to be applied on the ping pong ball as well, and ensure the uh, motion called projectile motion. So. Uh, from this uh, experiment, uh, we can calculate with using the kinematics uh, basic equation to check the maximum height and so on uh, in the our calculation parts. So here we want to proving that the ping pong ball launch and enter the hole within 1.5 meter. Let's go. Oh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Shahada binti Kasri Today I want to present about the calculation required in this project First, I want to explain about the calculation of velocity and the time taken Here, we use the displacement equation on x axis and y axis So first, we have to put out the unknown of v from the x axis equation and substitute it into the y axis equation and we will get the time taken from this calculation and then we will get velocity uh, by putting the time taken value in the unknown v equation next i want to explain about the calculation of the elongation of balloon first the constant k is the gradient from graph first basis extension and then by applying energy equation we will get dx as the elongation of the balloon and then to find the length of balloon that we need to pull until the ping pong ball achieve the hole is using the Tyrone Pythagoras equation uh, which is we will get 9.4 cm to achieve uh, this objective Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Amir Wafi bin Rashidi Okay, today I want to explain about the conclusion in our project Okay, in conclusion, to make the ping pong ball launcher We first need to figure out the drag coefficient Which would then help us calculate the angle, velocity and time at which the ball should be launched We began by determining the theoretical value for the drag parameter and then conduct an experiment to obtain our experimental value. Otherwise, the projectile motion must also be prepared 
for any obstacle such as wind or the diameter of the ball launcher must be increased to allow more room for the ball to be launched. As a result, we had to consider this when designing a launcher that would hit the target precisely. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Goodbye.